Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, hi, how the fuck are ya? It's been a goddamn minute. I'm well aware of that. Um, I'm fucking sorry for being lazy as shit. Um, like most of my life, I just feel like I'm fucking lazy. So I'm sorry, and I'm fucking out of breath. Every time I record, I get out of breath. It's this really cute thing called asthma. <sighs> okay, anyway, let's get into the topic of today's video because I'm pissed. I have my ass breath. Oh my God. Okay. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about dating as a trans woman, um, how fucked it is, how terrible it is, um, for me at least, and how bad you get treated. Ignore the nails, ignore the ratchetness. Um, just, you know, it's what you get. Just gotta toast the boy who inspired this video. So I wanna talk about trans dating, um, specifically from the trans woman aspect and how shitty it can be. I've never heard of anyone struggle as hard as I have to date amongst my like cis peers um, at all. Like it's truly, truly so incredibly hard. This is kind of uh, the breakdown for you where I'm currently at in life. I will have several men, like not to like toot my own horn, but like a good amount of guys hit me up like on Instagram, Snap, whatever, you know. Um, very interested, we'll talk for like two days. Like they're literally like ready to wife me up. Nothing is sexual, like they're literally like, I wanna meet you, I wanna like show you to my mom, like fucking this is my dog type shit. Um, like really wholesome, really fun, really sweet. Um, then about two or three days into it, um, of talking to them, I'm like, hi, like, so, your girl's your boy. No, but I, I, for real, I'm kidding. But I tell them, bitch, I'm trans. Um, they will react one of three ways. One, they'll be like, kind of rude about it and just be like, I didn't know you were trans, like, I'm not into it, goodbye, kind of thing, which is probably the least common. The second one, where they're shocked and didn't realize it, but then are interested and want to learn more, um, which is rare, which is somewhat rare, but, you know, it happens here and there. But the most common thing to come out of it is, I'll tell them I'm trans. Their first question back is almost always about my genitals, always, always about sex and from that point on it's strictly a sexual conversation strictly only care about sex they no longer care about me as a human and it's very much just objectifying and they really only see you as something you know to experiment with they've never been with a trans person and they've been with a trans person they won't do it again whatever whatever um that's kind of what it always boils down to and i've seen this pattern happen i'm not being dramatic over a hundred times <laughs> yeah at least a hundred times I've had maybe two relationships that um, were able, I was, you know, I started talking to them, I told them I was trans, it really wasn't a big deal. And then we just kind of continued on as normal. And those were like my two longest term situationships, whatever you want to call it. Um, but even those didn't fucking work out because it just narrows your pool so low, it, I feel like, of like actual decent guys who want to be with a trans person, not just sexually be with a trans person which is like most of them it really narrows your pool but yeah by the time i'm able to like get down to those few guys who are actually no i'm trans still okay with it still treating me like a fucking human being i don't like them like because they're like you know no like i feel like it's just a very narrow group to pick from and oftentimes they're not my top picks um and it's just left me in a, a bad situation where i um uh, I have very limited options and I don't like my options so I kind of just am in limbo and it sucks and it's so frustrating it really makes you feel like you don't have a lot of value as a person if I'm honest because it's very much so like as soon as you tell them you're trans it's a total flip total 180 total 180 not even to mention the anxiety that I get um, if they don't know I'm trans and I did, I have noticed a pattern that if you tell them you're trans a little bit later on, once they've actually gotten to know you and you've made some sort of a connection, they're much more likely to stick around and be able to, you know, get over it rather than if you just meet them off the bat and you're like, hi, I'm fucking trans, they're gonna be like, hey, that's mad baggage, goodbye. But if they already like you and they already feel some type of connection with you, they're more willing to work through it with you. 
However, during those that time where you're getting to know them and you haven't fully um, disclosed your trans identity, girl, it is so much anxiety. Like, I swear I'm gonna get killed. I swear, I always say it. Like, I've had this conversation. It's really not a joke. I had it. I had this conversation with family members where it's like, I know how I'm gonna die. Like, someone's gonna hurt me. Um, like, I, I really feel that way because just trans women are getting murdered left and right. And I really want to find love, but I also really don't want to die. And it's such a hard thing to balance. And it's so sick and twisted that that has to be, that I can't, you know, look for a genuine connection and genuine love with somebody without having to worry they're going to ax my head off for something not hap like that I can't change, that I was born as, that I've been as for fucking seven years. It's... It's, it's just unfair. It's such a shitty feeling and it feels like a never ending cycle because it's just, it happens every time you meet a new person, you think it's different, it's not. And they just disappoint you all over again. I don't really have tips for those of you watching because clearly I am single as Pringle, can't really give you that advice. However, however, I wanna um, address one thing that bugged the f out of me for some weird reason. This is like hella random, but uh, y'all know Blair White. I'm assuming if you watch my channel, you know Blair White. She's like a very prominent trans figure, um, political commentator, trans, whatever. She has talked about this. I've watched her videos on it and she says something that for some reason stuck in my head and gave me such a bad taste. Like she was like, I don't know about like you other trans. Oh, by the way, I like Blair. Like I'm actually a fan of her. I watch actually every video and agree with most of what she has to say. But, most of what she has to say, but, she said something in this video where she was like, like, I don't know like about you other trans people, but like I've never had a problem with dating. Not, not me. Like stuff like that. Um, and I don't understand that. Let me hold up. Actually, her fiance is kind of ugly. I understand that. She settled it. She settled. That's what it was. I think that's the difference. Cause like I most definitely could have had like three boyfriends by now, but like three ugly boyfriends or three, <laughs> like boyfriends who I didn't feel I was compatible with personality wise. Um, settling, settling. I'm trying to not settle, but I, I'm probably gonna have to end up settling. That's, that's my issue. Please comment what the f you think of this. Like what has been your experiences? What is your advice? Um, Cause I'm, I'm definitely learning with you guys. Even though I've been in this transition for seven years, this is really like, I'm turning 20 next month. This is really like, I've never been an adult before. Like it's really, I feel like I'm coming into my adult, my womanhood um, as I enter my twenties and I need to figure out more proactive ways of finding love that um, won't get me murdered. So if you have any ideas, hit a bitch up. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you relate to this. I hope this made you feel not alone. That's the one else is going through what you're going through. Because, um, it sucks. And if you're not going through this and you're a trans girl in a happy, happy relationship that you didn't settle for, um, bitch, you do you. Because that's serving. Anyway, I gotta go. I love you so much. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. I'm looking at down below. Love you. Bye.